Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually start off from scratch and start editing your own Fortnite montages. Before I actually get into it though, I just want to say a lot of you guys, about 70% that watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to drop a sub if you haven't already. In today's video, I'm actually going to be cutting it into a bunch of different sections, so make sure to actually check out the timestamps in the description if you want to skip ahead to a specific thing. I'm going to be covering a bunch of different areas on how you can actually start editing your own Fortnite montages, from which editing software you should choose based on your needs down to where you can actually get clips to actually put together practice edits and all that stuff and then i'll also be going over a little mini edit tutorial in a editing software too but i hope you guys do enjoy and i'll see you guys on my pc all right guys so the first thing i'm going to be going over is what editing software you should actually be using depending on what you need it for so the first thing it comes down to is editing experience and how much you've actually edited previously so if you've had previous experience editing little mini school projects or other videos for your youtube channel such as maybe content videos that kind of stuff you have a general understanding of how to cut clips down how to maybe add some basic effects effects to that, I would recommend using software such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, or Sony Vegas. Or if you're starting out brand new like I was at the very beginning, I would recommend looking at something like Filmora or DaVinci Resolve. These editing softwares are great for beginners because they do have a beginner-friendly layout to them. It's easy to locate where things are and actually adapt to the software quickly. On the other hand, if you do have a lot of experience or some experience editing in these softwares, I would recommend checking out After Effects, Premiere Pro, or Sony Vegas because they do allow you to actually do a lot more in the software itself and it's not exactly limiting. In terms of Fortnite montages though, it doesn't really matter because a lot of editing softwares allow you to do so many things in terms of effects, transitions, and everything you could need for editing your own Fortnite videos. For example, DaVinci Resolve allows you to use Sapphire plugins, BCC plugins, Universe plugins, like any other software, and it allows you to do keyframing, all that stuff that you'd be able to do in a program like After Effects. What I would recommend for most beginners is that you do start out on a beginner-oriented software such as DaVinci Resolve, get good on it, understand how to use plugins and effects, and then gradually move over to editing software like Premiere, Vegas, or After Effects. The advanced softwares can get a bit confusing if you do go into it without any experience, but if you go in with a bit of past experience, it can be really good for actually editing your own videos. For example, After Effects boasts a very tedious graph feature that allows you to individually change the slope and pitch of the graph of an effect in your timeline. Some of the features like this can be ignored if you are a beginner and you want to just learn how to use the software's basics, but it can get confusing if you aren't completely sure about what's where and how you could actually use it. So I just take into consideration how fast you want to learn and what you actually want to be able to accomplish inside of your editing software before you choose one of these. Moving on now, we're actually going to be going over how to get assets for your videos such as clips and the song. Clips can be found by going on either Twitter or YouTube and looking up Fortnite clip packs. And depending on what season it is, I would also add that to your search term. A lot of pro players, creative warriors, or arena grinders put out a lot of clip packs so it's easy for you to access and actually edit your own Fortnite montages too. Some people I'd recommend for these are Plux and T1 Nate. Most of these can actually be found inside of a Google Drive folder which you can easily download to your PC and import them into your editing software. Now moving over how to actually download the songs for your montages, a great software for this is actually Dmix. This software allows you to download the high quality version of almost every single song on the internet. For example, you just go into the app, look up the song that you want to use, create an account, and then download it. But with that being said, all there is to do is edit your Fortnite montage. So I'll see you guys inside of DaVinci Resolve, which is the software I'm going to be showing how to use in this video. All right, so once you've actually opened the software, all you have to do is just go to New Project and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to be calling it Beginner Tutorial or something like that. We're going to press Create, and then it will open up a brand new project. We're going to go to the Edit tab. The number one mistake people make is they start editing in the Cut tab. That is a massive mistake. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. I Bag. Uh, go up here to the file, go to project settings, and make sure your settings are set to 1920 by 1080 60 FPS because that is the best possible settings for this software. From there, go to your file explorer and find wherever your clip folder is. So for me, um, I know I did bad preparation. I didn't name any of these, so we're just going to take a wild guess on some of these clips. Uh, let's just do something like this, and we'll hope that these clips are decent. We're also going to go to the folder that we have our song in. So for me, I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to go to music, and then we're going to do something like, I don't even know, 
Let's do um, Charlie on a Friday on the road. Uh, something, just something random. All right, so we've actually dragged the song in now. All we're gonna do is we're gonna trim down the left side and then we're gonna cut down the right side just a bit. That way we have a bit of space to work with and just go like this. And then we're gonna zoom in a tiny bit. We're gonna find our first beat drop. Um, obviously in DaVinci Resolve, you can see that the waveforms are on the uh, audio itself. So we're just gonna find it just like this. You can see where the uh, audio peaks right here maybe one frame over yeah that'd be a lot better so right there and then we're also going to put a beat right beat marker right here by pressing m on our keyboard and then we're going to put one there and then we'll trim it down just on the uh, side right here and that's good we'll just get rid of the rest of it and then just as a little adding touch we're just going to uh find our transition points so in every song literally ever for hip-hop or rap there's always a main beat and then there's a clap or a hi-hat after that beat so we're gonna find that point we can hear that clap right there so we're gonna find that clap which is right here and we're gonna add a red marker there boom just like that we have our song fully mapped out and we know where we want to actually hit our beats for our shots and then from here, we're just gonna click on this clip. We are going to actually um, just select the part, the uh, part we want to use, just by pressing these these uh, arrows in DaVinci. We're gonna drag it in just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in. We're gonna find where the pellets first hit our player, and we're gonna line that up with the blue marker for our beat. Drag it down on the right. And just like that, we're gonna right click on our clip. We're gonna unlink it, right click again, go into read time controls, add a speed point on this point right here by clicking the black triangle. We're gonna go back to after we fully edit the ramp right here. We can see the debris is fully gone on this frame. So we're gonna add a speed point here. And then we can see from 21 to this point right here, there's about, I don't know, 25 frames. So we're gonna go, I don't know, 12 frames after. So we're going to go to about 33 and add a speed point here. We could say that's almost halfway. Not exact, but it's all good. We're going to change this one to 50%. We're going to change this one to 200%. And we're going to change this one to 50%. We're going to go to the blue marker and we're going to drag this over to the side. And then just go like that. And then trim this down completely. And that's actually how you add velocity. I don't know if you guys knew that, but that's what they always do for slow-mo on the kills. They add a bit of a velocity. And I'll quickly show you what it looks like. Just I'm gonna repeat the same process, but I'm gonna skip ahead just so you guys don't gotta see it. And just like that, we've actually added velocity to all our clips right here. Uh, all that's left to do after that is actually add our effects. So I'm just going to go to effects right here. We're gonna drag an adjustment clip over top so it goes from the marker of our kill to the very end of the clip. We're gonna go into the fusion tab and then I will have some uh, presets in the description for DaVinci Resolve for you guys to actually add for your impacts for 100% free that were from, it was from my old edit pack. So they are really good impacts. You're just gonna like drag in the hard impact right here. And uh, what that'll do is it'll just give you the chance to, uh, you can connect these right here. And then it actually adds a nice little impact to your clip. It's gonna take a second to load real quick. And uh, it's being really laggy right now, but it is a really good impact. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna duplicate it by pressing Alt and then like dragging our mouse over. And we're gonna put it on this clip right here, fit it to size. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing right here and uh, fit it to size just like that. Trim it down. And that also should be good. We're just gonna kind of trim the audio off here too. And uh, that should be everything good to go other than transitions, which I will quickly show you how to do, which is a built-in feature in DaVinci Resolve. You can just go to your video transitions and you know slap on a nice little cross dissolve. And that will do a little cross dissolve between the two clips. Or if you want to do a non-additive dissolve, that's always a good option too. You just do something like that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that, guys. I mean, that's how you get started editing Fortnite montages for 100% free. Um, make sure to check out the other editing softwares. I made tutorials in those softwares as well if you guys want to check that out. I'll have a, a link to my playlist in the description with all my other tutorials there for After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, all that stuff for more advanced effects. If you want to check that out. But I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in a future upload on the channel. Peace out.